Limited. Uh, if you'd pulled that one off tonight, I think it would have been the by far the highest run chase Durham had ever pulled off. As it is, it's the second highest aggregate score in a game, so it just shows the, the scale of the job in hand. Yeah, uh, it was a belt and pitch to be honest. There, uh, a lot of runs to be had out there. And I thought after sort of 10, 11 overs when Ash and I were going, I thought we were in for a real chance here. Um, unfortunate what happened to him. Um, fingers crossed he's going to be all right, but still too early to assess. But um, always going to be a tough, tough task t uh, chasing down 220, but we gave it a good crack just not to be tonight. It looked awful when he went over, he landed heavily on his shoulder. As he sat up, it looked like it was dislocated. I gather it had popped out and it was uh, put back in place again. Yeah, it wasn't nice to look at. Um, it, it, it was clearly out, um, but he wasn't in too much pain. We managed to get it back in and he, he seemed okay. He, he was still umming and ahhing whether he wanted to come back out and bat. Um, but I think it was too many runs at the end there, so it wasn't worth risking. But so now we're just assessing and hoping to see how he is sort of tomorrow. So he's got an ice pack on it at the moment and seems quite happy. Yeah, he's still he's still unsure. He says there's no pain yet. He said it just it's in in the back of his mind. So um, I, I think it doesn't look great to be honest. But um, I suppose only time will tell because um, the pain usually comes a bit later on with these sort of things. I think the adrenaline might be might be carrying through at the minute. But um, we've just got to see what happens and, and assess later on. Now their opening stand, third time they've got more than 103 matches in a row against Durham, but Chris Lynn tonight, I mean he hit some sixes. One of them was recorded on CCTV by a family arriving in their back garden, and that's gone on Twitter. And what, just the, the sheer force and some of the shots he hit, it was just incredible to watch. I mean, I wouldn't want to be a bowler in a game like this. No, I mean, it was remarkable hitting. Sometimes when, when someone gets a big score like that, they usually give a chance or they usually miss hit one, but he just didn't. I mean, they were going 20, 30, 40 metres over the boundary. It was just unbelievable hitting. I think sometimes there you've just got to nod your head and say well played to someone. Um, we get, the, the balls gave it a good crack and we still thought, we knew it was a belt and pitch, it was a small boundary one side, the wind was blown towards it. So we thought if, if someone could get in, we could, we could chase it down. It, just, it was just missing someone to go on and get a big saw like he did. Probably take responsibility myself there. Probably got to go on and get 70, 80 plus um, and build another partnership with someone. But um, yeah, Chris Lynn, I mean, he's a superstar. So uh, he can, he's got that in his locker and unfortunately we were on the wrong end of it tonight. I don't think there was anywhere in this ground where you were safe tonight. The curry tent got peppered, the bar, it was either you or Michael put one into the bar at this end of the ground, in the pavilion end of the ground. Uh, it was a good opening stand that you put together, and I think at the halfway stage, Durham was something like 25 runs ahead, ahead of where North Hans had been, but it was just that second part of the innings and uh, Freddie Heldrick's bowling, which just took the steam out of things. Yeah, he bowled really well, didn't he? I mean, in a game where it's 11s, 10s and over, and he's come on and went for 20 and 4 overs, that just kind of took the momentum out of us, and to take three weeks as well. It, it, it knocked the stuff out of us a little bit, but... Um, 10 overs in, we got the run rate down to less than 10 and over, so we thought we had a good chance. But when there's runs on the board, it's always just you need everything to go right to get a chase the total down like that. So as soon as you start losing a couple of wickets, it's always hard for a new guy coming in and trying to keep up with the rate, which, yeah, it's disappointing, but I think we gave it a good crack in the end.